Hi, I'm Kurt Drew. And today we are at a house in Scranton, Iowa, where we're gonna be installing a ERV. That's an energy recovery ventilator. And the reason we're installing this ERV is to address this home's radon levels. Randy Newman, uh, Neighbors Heating and Air. Uh, Randy, you um, are the radon specialist for Neighbors Heating and Air, an HVAC company based out of Ames, Iowa. Yeah. And you run into a lot of scenarios uh, with these farmhouses and even in town where you've got some situations where a radon mitigation system is not the best option. That's true. I mean, we see um, if the radon level is you know, if it's below 10 picocuries per liter, we're very, pretty comfortable doing an ERV, energy okay. recovery ventilation system on it, and it brings in added benefit. It's not just taking care of the radon, it's taking care of indoor air quality issues. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't even realize they have indoor, indoor air quality issues until we get the system in, they notice the difference, so. We had one in particular where, you know, I was designing just a regular, you know, sub slab depressurization and had it almost ready. He was just getting ready to sign and his wife walks in. Okay. And she goes, well, is this going to take care of that musty smell on my house? And the husband looks at her and, you know, I don't smell anything. It's no musty smell to me, but she smelled something. So I immediately changed gear, started bringing out the energy recovery ventilation system and introducing that. And we ended up putting one in. Uh, got the radon level down. Mm -hmm. I called him up a couple weeks later and asked him in particular if he noticed any difference. He goes, you know, Randy, I didn't know I even had an issue, but when I'm gone from the house for three or four hours and I come home, my home smells like fresh laundry now. Another guy that was an old farm farmer and he had probably eight cats in that house, and it was one of those crawl spaces where we couldn't even get to it. It had a lot of dirt areas and stuff, and we ended up putting an ERV in there, sealed the sump kit, and it took care of the radon, and the house smelled so good inside of there. Indoor air quality is just part of what you guys do. Do you find that folks that test for radon are like highly attuned to their other indoor air quality? They are, if they're interested in radon, they're interested in other issues and they don't even know they have them until you point out some of the different benefits of the, uh, the ERV. So yeah, they, I have some people call in and they're just maybe not even interested in radon at the mm -hmm. time. They're just indoor air quality issues. So yeah. it just is another tool to have in my toolbox and the ventilation, the house ventilation, I've been doing that you know, all my life. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're dealing with here. I've had another another issue, and it was the basement of a huge Catholic church. Old basement. They had one room in there, good size room, but they had a daycare, commercial daycare. Okay. Now they were required to mitigate and test yearly, year, test yearly and mitigate if it's too high. Okay. They had called a company, local company, and they came out and did the thing that, what do we do? We drill a hole, put a pipe, put a fan. Yep. Didn't even make a dent in the radar. Really? And the only good thing that guy did was he didn't charge him. He walked away from the job, unplugged the fan, and walked away. Hmm. And so we went out there and after doing some diagnostic testing, um, determined that we could do a standalone ERV. They didn't have a duct system in that room. Okay. It was all boilers and, right. you know, so didn't want to mitigate the whole church. He just wanted that room done. So we put a standalone in. I ran a supply, I ran a return, got some ventilation outside. Yeah. Took care of the issue, got it below two. My biggest issue on that was convincing the Catholic priest that this was going to work. Okay. The other issues on that, what I was selling with, with the daycare lady, was the indoor air quality. And you know, you got 15 or 20, three, four, five year olds, and oh, man. one virus gets in that room, it goes around like clockwork. Um, kids are safe, they're healthier now, they work. Yeah, that's great. I can't sell it, it doesn't work. <laughs> that's you know, right. If yeah. I don't believe in it, I can't sell it. You do, you know, several of them a month, and I mean, we've done, this is the second one this week, I got another one next week, it's it's just an added source of revenue. You know, for us, it, it works, and they're not that different. And those, so you wouldn't have been installing if you weren't in the radon mitigation business. That's correct. 